I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Hi students, welcome back. In the previous classes, we have discussed about the principle of mixtures. Thereby, we have derived a formula for determining the specific heat of a given solid. Later, we had a demonstration. laboratory method to find the specific heat of a given solid then we practiced a few numerical problems also okay let us move to the next topic next one is evaporation have you ever seen have you ever seen the sanitizer few drops of sanitizer is taken in your palms and uh, rub your hands this liquid sanitizer liquid evaporates you won't give find any traces within seconds you can feel that your hands are dry after washing your clothes you dry them in the sunlight after 15 minutes or half an hour you can find that the wet clothes are now dry the water in the clothes has evaporated and can't find the traces of water in the clothes similarly when the floor is washed within few minutes you can observe that the floor is dry there is no water on the floor one more example you might have come across this petrol we use petrol in vehicles as a fuel when petrol is taken in a vessel within few minutes or at least within half an hour you will find that there is no petrol completely gets disappeared in the laboratory four or five drops of spirit is taken in a petri dish within few seconds you will observe that this complete spirit disappears so this is all related to evaporation take a liquid in a beaker let it be water microscopically for our eyes it appears to be a liquid and it is transparent if you go deep into the liquid to the microscopic level there are molecules in the liquid the molecules in the liquid are not static the collisions occurs between the molecules of the liquid so this is a happening continuously collisions are occurring continuously between the molecules now we are close the liquid has so many molecules select two molecules two molecules what i mean one molecule is at the surface of the liquid and another molecule is somewhere inside the liquid and in its random motion it came under hit this molecule at the surface that means some additional energy is given to this molecule at the surface and with that excess energy this molecule becomes a vapor molecule you can say gas molecule and leaves the liquid surface and rises to the liquid surface and this type of molecules we call as vapor molecules so one molecule has got these molecules which have came out of the liquid surface will generally move here and there randomly like gas molecules close to the surface of the liquid some of the molecules above this liquid surface collide among themselves and uh, lose their kinetic energy and may again drop into the liquid the molecules from the liquid surface are leaving the liquid surface and they are becoming gaseous molecules like that if continuously liquid molecules are leaving the surface and escaping into the atmosphere slowly you will find a decrease in volume of the liquid the escaping of molecules from the liquid surface at any temperature 
is called the evaporation. I repeat, the escaping of a molecules from the liquid surface at any temperature is called the evaporation. As we have discussed just now, a molecule from the liquid surface escapes due to collision by a molecule coming from inside the liquid. So, the energy of the molecule inside the liquid is transferred to the molecular surface and that molecule gets escaped. And this molecule remains in the liquid, it has lost its energy. So, the molecules in the liquid are continuously losing their kinetic energy, the temperature of the liquid decreases. Therefore, evaporation is a cooling process. Wherever evaporation takes place, the molecules escaping, evaporating, becoming vapor and leaving the surface, but the molecules in the liquid, still in the liquid, are losing their kinetic energy and losing their temperature, they are becoming cool. So, evaporation is a cooling process. Okay. So, take spirit in a dish some 5 ml suppose after a few seconds a part of a spirit may be operated now if you touch this spirit you feel that it is cool wherever the operation takes place the remaining liquid becomes cool that's what happens in our pot drinking water is taken in pot it has some porous surface. Some of the liquid molecules come to the surface of the pot and they get escaped and the water molecules inside the pot losing their energy and their temperature is dropping. So this evaporation process is the secret behind cool water in a pot. Even if you use a wet cloth around a plastic bottle by the time that cloth gets evaporated and dried the water inside the bottle gets cooled it loses its temperature so final conclusion is evaporation is a cooling process evaporation is a cooling process in our daily life for our body also this evaporation process is applicable Whenever you work hard, whenever heat is generated in your body, the automatic formula is there in our body. So water, sweat is released and the water in the sweat evaporates. At the time of evaporation, that water molecules need some extra energy that is taken from our body. So whenever it gets sweat, your body gets cooled. Okay, this is a one of the applications of evaporation. Right. What are the factors that affect the evaporation? Temperature is one of the affecting factor. More the temperature of the liquid is easy for the evaporation. So temperature is one of the factors that affects the evaporation. A liquid at higher temperature evaporates easily. Okay. Next, area, area of the liquid, surface area of the liquid is the second factor that affects the evaporation. Generally, when we want to cool a liquid, suppose tea, tea is taken in a cup, if you want to cool it instantly, you prefer a saucer, so drop this tea into the saucer. What is the difference when the tea is in cup and when it is poured into the saucer, what is the difference? Here, the surface area is small, here the surface area is more. So, more the surface area, evaporation will be more and hence, the cooling process is faster. So, surface area is one of the affecting factors uh, to this evaporation. At the surface of uh, liquid, if uh, already vapor is there, 
it becomes a little difficult for these molecules, fresh molecules to become vapor and to escape from the surface. So more the vapor already present, less will be the evaporation. So the vapor content at the surface of the liquid also affects the evaporation. If there is no vapor, then it is easy for the molecules of the surface to escape. If already some vapor molecules are there, then it will be a bit difficult for the fresh molecules to get escaped from the liquid surface. Okay? So, we have discussed the evaporation. Evaporation means the escaping of molecules of a liquid from its surface at any temperature is called evaporation. Evaporation is a cooling process. So, then the factors that affect the evaporation are temperature of the liquid, surface area of the liquid and the vapor present on the surface of the liquid. So, these are the main three factors that affect the rate of evaporation. So, let us do an activity to understand the evaporation. So, all of you see this activity you will understand how these factors are affecting the rate of evaporation. Evaporation is a cooling process. Demonstration. So, a plastic bottle is taken, one liter bottle. Bottle is filled with water. A hole is made to its cap. That hole is to place the thermometer. After five minutes, 25 degree Celsius. So it is the room temperature is the initial temperature of the water is 25 degrees Celsius. The bottle is covered with a wet cloth, a plain cloth, a wet cloth. Just uh, the cloth is uh, rounded around the bottle. After a few minutes, the cloth is uh, dried. Now, let us see the temperature of the water. So, the temperature now is 23 degrees Celsius. That means cooling has taken place. Factors affecting evaporation. Let's have a demonstration. The apparatus required are four identical plastic bottles, three plastic bottles of a different cross-sectional area, few measuring jars, kerosene, petrol, water, etc. Take three identical plastic bottles, cut them to half the size and in each bottle take 100 ml, one is water, one is kerosene, one is petrol. Keep the three bottles aside for about two hours. After two hours, you will find that the volumes are different. So, the petrol has evaporated maximum. So, rate of evaporation depends on nature of the material. Take bottles of different cross-sectional area. Fill each bottle with 250 ml of water. Keep them aside at one place. And after two hours, the quantity left is measured. The water in the maximum cross-sectional area is least. So, rate of evaporation is directly proportional to the cross-sectional area. Next, take two bottles of similar cross-sectional area. Take 100 ml of water in each of the bottle. Place one inside the room, one on the terrace in the sunlight. After two hours, you will notice that more water is evaporated in the bottle kept in sunlight. So, rate of evaporation is directly proportional to temperature of the liquid. Take two identical bottles, cut them to half, take 100 ml of water in each, place one bottle in the corner of a room and another near the window. After two hours, measure the water left over, you will find that more water is evaporated in the bottle kept at the window. So, rate of evaporation is directly proportional to wind flow 
on the liquid surface.